What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time coming, but we are finally here. I'm out at Club Loose, Texas today, and the car is done. It's all wrapped. We got my awesome Banana Boys banner, and honestly, it looks amazing. I could not be happier with how it turned out. Got my body kit on, my three-piece wheels are on the car. I love it. So, with that being said, I currently am switching out my wheels from my three-piece wheels to my famous uh, XXR shredder wheels. Uh, if you guys know Fielding Shredder, of course you do. Um, so I bought these wheels off of a friend and they came with tires. So hopefully these tires will last a decent amount of time because I only brought two. And then I have the ones that are on my three-piece wheels and I really don't want to drift on those. So uh, unfortunately it's like a million degrees today and I'm literally like completely covered in sweat and I've been outside for not even an hour yet. So I was really hoping that it was going to be raining today because all week the forecast said that it was going to rain and not just rain, like it was going to pour today. And all of a sudden it's sunny and beautiful and clear, which is awesome because it makes for some really cool pictures with the sun hitting my color changing wrap. But I am drenched in sweat as you can probably see on camera. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up changing my wheels out, torque them down, and head on out to go get some laps in. Okay, so I just did first lap out, and instead of just like driving the track like a normal human being, I was like full send, third gear, screw it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, where I basically should have just driven the track because I was unprepared for a, a hairpin turn that appeared uh, what seemed out of nowhere. So. Um, luckily, I did not throw the car completely into a wall. I turned, clutched in, and just like rolled into the back of it. So my bumper did fall off, or my rear bumper fell off, but it's totally fine. There's no cracks or anything in it other than the fact that my wrap on the rear bumper that I just wrapped is now a little bit destroyed. But it is what it is. It's a drift car, so I don't really care, but... I'm gonna be in B group today because I haven't driven in like six months, but fingers crossed that I do a little bit better on my second lap out than I did the first.
us in trouble. Are we not? No. I did not film yesterday when I was getting everything put up and uh, getting ready to leave because it started pouring rain and it got really dark so I was just trying to get out of there but here is a quick walk around of the aftermath of my car the next day. So I went ahead and I washed the car so we could do a quick walk around and see like the actual damage that the car sustained from the event. So here we go. Okay, so in the front, um, this fender, like I hit a tire or something and like popped off so it like broke down here but I zip tied it back on which you can see is not very pretty and the wrap kind of got a little destroyed but you know I'll just cut that off it'll be fine it's like at the bottom so you can't really tell but it kind of bent my fender which is totally fine because uh, if y'all had seen my car previous to doing the wrap, this fender was already like completely crumpled and basically I just like pulled it back out and bondoed it. So really not too worried about that. And then right here, uh, just from like running over cones on track and stuff, by the way, I did not run over that many cones from me. I ran over cones because people kept leaving them in the middle of the track. So like they just got sucked under and, you know, kind of tore up my wrap quite a bit. But that's okay, these side skirts are pretty easy to wrap. Um, and I was actually going to rewrap them anyways because when I got them out of the box, I didn't sand them down and make them look pretty before I wrapped them. So they kind of looked a little janky to begin with. Um, I'm going to try that tire mark remover product or whatever. Somebody had left it in a description and I'm going to go find it and try it out because all these tire marks are like, they should come out. I just don't know how to get them out. So I'm going to try that remover thingy because it, I mean, none of this went through the wrap. Like it's just surface stuff. So hopefully that will come out. Um, let me see, here we go. The rear bumper is pretty janky now. Um, some of the tire marks like down there will come off, but all around the more risen parts of the bumper, they are all completely trashed. Which is kind 
kind of disappointing, but I mean, I knew that it was going to happen, so I'm not entirely disappointed about it. Um, just some scrapes. A lot of these tire marks will come out, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to have to rewrap it anyways. Hopefully down here, I don't know if this is just like a, a wrap thing that it broke or if it actually like cracked. I'm not sure, so I'll have to take the wrap off to see if, I mean, it looks like it's a full crack through because it is, the wrap is like broken right here, but it's, the wrap isn't broken up here, but you can see where the crack like continues up. So yeah, I'll just have to, pro I mean, it's just a crack, so I'll probably just have to put some Bondo on it and sand it down. I don't think I'll have to do fiberglass for that. Um... Same thing on this side, we got one tiny little uh, mark from probably a cone or something. But this side's actually pretty spotless for the most part, which is nice. My wheels are still really pretty all the way around. That one needs to be polished because that's the only one that hasn't been polished. Um, but eventually I'll get Pablo to do that since he did this other side so beautifully. If you guys need metal polishing done, that's the guy to hit up. He's in Cleburne. So, yeah. Also, the good thing about this event is that I I drove quite a bit. I drove every session. Because um, if you know Club Loose, they have like A, B, and C group. I was in B group because, well, I wasn't doing so hot. So, I was in B group for the whole day. And they basically switch from A to B. Um, each uh, session is an hour. So I did drive every session, um, but I didn't drive the whole session of every session. So I did take a lot of breaks and stuff, um, except for when Harrison jumped in the car with me and he stayed out for an entire session with me. But I did drive quite a bit and considering how much I drove, I didn't even go through an entire set of kendas like i only brought two kendas with me that i really wanted to use because the other ones are on my three-piece wheels which i did not want to drift on so i only brought my two xxr wheels with two kendas already mounted and they weren't new kendas they were like slightly used um but new enough to where they were gonna last the whole event and not only did they last the whole event they are actually still kind of good. I can use them for another event. I can still see the tread pattern. Um, the wear on them is pretty even for the most part. One of them has slightly more wear on um, the outer edge, so it's starting to show cords. Um, so I think for the next time that I drive on them, I'm just going to flip them and then I won't have that problem. So, but let me just show you guys what they look like. So here's the tire. Well, I have the other one in the car and I just didn't want to pull it out. But as you can see, there is still some tread left on the tire. Um, I can go from this angle. It's not very much. It's like barely there, but enough to still see it. Um, the track was pretty rough in some areas. So like it did take some chunks out of the tire. Um, it does, it's not too bad though. Um, I think, let's see. Yeah, this side looks pretty good. So in some areas it does have some small, okay, here we go, like some small little chunks missing. But honestly, I'm not really worried about it. It's not corded yet and it still has quite a bit of life on the inside of the tire. So I'm going to flip them um, for the next time that I drive on them because if you guys have ever driven on Kenda, they last so long and they are good literally until there's nothing left on them. Like you can really run them down to the wire and they are still good. You just have to keep letting air out of them if you want any grip at all. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions that you have, like specifically about anything on the car or for me or whatever it may be, just drop a comment and eventually I think I'm going to try to make a video of like 
my most asked questions because I get a lot of like repeat questions. So I might go ahead and make a video of like all of those for you guys. So thanks for watching once again. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys. I know I'm not like super consistent with uploading content, but I did just graduate with my bachelor's degree. So I will have a lot more spare time to go ahead and film uh, new content and different cool things to show you guys. So I have a lot coming, so stay tuned and make sure to like and subscribe, recommend me to all your cool friends that like cars and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.